welcome to Moxie Books. Uh, this morning I am talking about word counts or lengths or you know basically answering one of the most common questions I get from people when they are writing their book or thinking of writing their book which is how long should my book be? How long should my chapter be? Or sometimes how long should an article be? And I haven't, re I haven't really got a massively useful answer to that. I'm just going to be really irritating and say as long as it needs to be. But having said that, there are a couple of guidelines to think about. So um, if you keep in mind that, um, and I think it was Winston Churchill who said this some originally and somewhat misogynistically, but, um, and he, he was talking about speeches, but whatever you're writing should be like a mini skirt, long enough to cover everything and short enough to still be interesting. And that's actually a pretty good rule for writing a book or writing a chapter or writing an article, because the key thing is to keep people interested and make sure that you get your message across. And I know that's that's possibly not the most helpful thing when you're thinking, oh, it'd be really useful to have a word count. So um, if you're thinking about, and I'm thinking about nonfiction here because different rules apply for fiction. And again, if you're working with a publisher, they will want um, a minimum word count probably as well, or an approximate word count. But the average non-fiction book is about 50,000 words, um, 50 to 60,000 words. I think the average novel is, is a fair bit more than that. I obviously don't really do fiction writing. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're aiming for anywhere between, you know, 35 and 60 or 70,000 words for your non-fiction book, then that you're in the right ballpark. Um, as for chapters and things, I vary them. Some of my chapters were 6,000 words long. Some of my chapters were 1,500 to 2,000 words long. Again, it really, it really mean, it really depends on the message, and you want to just make sure that you're getting um, covering everything that you need to cover and not waffling too much. Um, the importance of outlines comes in here. Outline what you want to write. What you know, where are you taking your reader on this journey? Whether it's in an article or a book or a chapter, where are you taking them from? Where do you want to get them to? And what stops do you have to make on the way? If you can get that nailed down, um, you will probably not waffle too much and you will cover everything you need to cover. So I hope that's helpful. I will be back same time next week with another writing tip um, and yeah, have a, have a wonderful, wonderful write. And if you want to practice this kind of thing and if you want to ask me questions like this, come and join Team Moxie in the Power Hours um, at moxiebooks.co.uk forward slash power hour. Bye.